Well, hey everybody, it's uh, Vlogmas Day 3, or the 3rd of December. I cannot believe that this year is almost over. We are what, 29, 28 days away from a brand new year with brand new problems, brand new happiness, brand new joys. Um, we've had several additions to our family this year on both sides. Um, We've had some marriages, and we've had some babies, and all in all, even with all the issues that we've had throughout the year, it's not been too bad. Um, some of you may know Randy works at the local base, Air Force Base, and cutbacks there have been not extreme, but it's coming, and that's always a source of, of tension, but the... Air Force Base gives back a whole lot to the community as well. And uh, we, we wish all the men and women that are overseas, away from their families, or even overseas with their families, who can't be at home uh, for the holidays, the very best. And we thank them for everything they do to keep us safe so that we can have all the issues that we have. Um, sorry for the rant yesterday, but it was one of those days at work and I just needed to get that stuff off my chest. Um, that blog should go up before this one, if, if I understand YouTube right. Um, so for day three, I thought I would go over something that is usually not thought up to the last minute, and then you're running around like a chicken with your head cut off. And that is holiday music. Because whether you have a party at your house, a party at work, um, an intimate night with you and your significant other, where you're wrapping presents for everybody. Some holiday music can set the mood. Now, I know everybody has iTunes. Even Randy and I have iTunes. Okay. But sometimes you just need to make the investment in actual physical property. Um, never get rid of your CD player. We've got a 52 disc CD changer. I change it out for the seasons because when I'm cleaning or doing anything that's loud, um, stereo puts out a lot more volume than the little speakers on my laptop. So, that being said, Christmas music. Now, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money on Christmas music. Matter of fact, normally, and I use the word normally, Christmas music are like Christmas cards. If you wait until after Christmas, you can buy twice as many. This is that old big box right there. And they're not new Chris. I mean, it's not new stuff. It's the same stuff. It's just recycled a little bit. Um, so I'm going to take you over the, to the table and show you what I mean. So this is just a smattering of what we have. Um, you have to have some of your traditional stuff, like Elvis, Frank, Nat King Cole, uh, Johnny Mathis, some instrumentals, Music Box One, Percy Faith, Mitch Miller, uh, and then you get some remixes of the classics by your modern artists. So you get Vanessa Williams, Aaron Neville, you know, Natalie Cole, uh, Harry Connick. This year though, we both went out and uh, when Randy got his Taylor Swift album, and don't ask me why he got Taylor Swift, I have no idea. Um, we also bought the Focus Michael Bublé Christmas album. This is freaking awesome. 
It has got so much music that's just revisioned. And um, we actually saw him perform the Jingle Bell ones with the Papini sisters on the Graham Norton show, which we watch fairly religiously. Um, the other one that I'm listening to that I didn't take my that I didn't take my own advice on was the Edina Mazel uh, Christmas album, and I have that on my phone, and it is freaking awesome too. Um, of course, anything Edina Mazel does is freaking awesome. Um, but so you can see through you got just a different variety of music. I mean, even NSYNC put out a Christmas album. I did not pay full price for that one. I just want to let you know that right now. Um, but one that I'm especially proud of, I guess, is not the right word, but that I'm very excited about that we got last year that I did not open yet because we're going to use it at the Christmas party that Randy's having at work that I have to go help with is Through Children's Eyes, and it's by the Air Force Band of Mid-America. Focus. Focus, damn you. Um which is the, the band at Scott Air Force Base. And they put it out, um, and it was, it was not for sale. It was a, a, a thank you for helping the community and thank you for helping us type thing. So I didn't open it because I'm going to open it this year. Um, but let me get, that's like, it, it really shows you how much the band and everything is, and the, the base is part of our community. Um, I guess it's no no uh, shock that with Randy working at the base that we have a lot of patriotic centric uh, things in the house. I mean, we we especially went out and bought the Santa Claus with the flag, and then we have the 9/11 special edition Possible Dreams, which is Santa with the policeman and the fireman that actually sings "Proud to Be an American." Um, so I mean, we 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 try as best we can we um, also fly the flag um, it's just it's something my grandpa did every day before he passed he had a flagpole he flew the flag every day and he says you know if you can't take the two minutes it takes to put the flag out in the morning and bring it in at night you can't talk about anybody else this is patriotism that's the least you can do to show that you love the country that's given you the opportunities that you have. Um, and he was very right. It's the very least we can do. Um, another th thing you can do is as you're out and about, and this is this is for holidays and for after the holidays. I don't care where you live. I don't care if you're overseas. Um, I don't care if you're in Europe, Australia, wherever you're at. If you can't take two seconds when you see a member of your military in uniform and say hey you know what I appreciate you doing what you do because that lets me do what I do it's a very selfish thing it's a very very selfish thing but that can make their day just knowing that you know what these people may be out working they may be out and they don't think about me but when they see me they appreciate the fact that I'm doing what I do and one last thing before I go for today, because I've got to upload this, export it, import it, and all the other things that I didn't know was part of a YouTube video, which it actually is. This is the back of our door. And these are our Christmas cards. And as we get more Christmas cards, we will keep posting them up. So look forward to seeing more and more on that, that door. And... Um, that's it. Have a great day, and Vlogmas 3 is done. Bye!